Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ori in the Blind Forest. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Leg Man, and today we need to escape from Kuro, who uh, might have a little bit of a good reason to dislike us in the Spirit Tree, although, eh, who knows, we'll have to see. So the question here is how exactly am I meant to proceed, because there's no cover. So I'm guessing maybe we're just running it, just leg it, you know? No, only thing we can do is try. What? What? Okay, I see. So, I need to have cover. Or she murders me. Apparently that didn't count as cover though. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Okay, can't just run it. So I guess I have to get up through the tree then. Oh, but I can't. Shit. Interesting. Oh, she doesn't aggro on me back here. Oh, no, she does. Oh, okay. I guess because I'm behind cover? Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, what? save here. See, I, I guess it's just because she can't see me. Where is it that I want to go, though? I guess over here. Oh... I gotta direct that. That's why that guy's over there. I remember asking, why is this little guy over here? Well, I have my answer now. Come on. Seriously? Come on. Well, shit. Okay, he respawns. Thank God. Yeah, it's definitely a matter of being behind cover here. So, like, can I drop down? There's a way to drop down through stuff. I swear there was. Spirit flame jump. Uh huh. I there was a way to drop down through stuff. I remember that being a thing. But it's just not something I've like ever used since the beginning of the game. Um, oh god. Yeah, because I can't just run that. I have to get down behind that log. There we go. Ah! Clever, clever creature. No, get down inside. Nope. I would assume if I'm in this cave, that'll be safe enough. Yes, okay. Oh. Okay. 
Barely escaped from her clutches this time. It's clear now why she hunts us. Kuro is just protecting her child. But remember, Ori, the element of warmth is the last to ignite. The sunstone we seek, high top sorrow pass. We must ride the winds, for they will show us the path. Okay. Uh, we can certainly do this thing. Um, now, the question that I have currently is how did I get here? Ooh, excuse me. How did I get over here? I don't recall. Where am I currently? No, we're over here. I'll tell you that much. So we're not, like, super far away. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we have the opportunity to get over there, we will. I'm not super worried about it, since it sounds like it was bonus content that got added to the game. But, I mean... Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the dang phone. There we go. Oh, and I can destroy that now. Interesting. Can't say I was expecting that, actually. Nice that I can just ride the wind out, though. Still... Still unclear on that one, man. It, there's no way it's this lever down here. I tried that before, didn't I? Yeah, and besides, I still can't get up there. Okay. This is a map fragment over here, or a map marker. So, I mean, really, we're just going, huh? Like it said, the winds will show us the way. I'm just still so curious about Gumin, or Gumo. Like, what, what was his deal? There's a door all the way down there that I never opened. Um, I guess we can probably wide or wide the wind. I can wide the wind to Whittle Hollow. Probably ride the wind. Still don't know how to get in here. Hmm. It's like it's almost like I would have to direct an enemy attack up here, but I don't know how I would do that. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we can probably ride. You little, yeah, ride the wind up here. Hold on, I really? Oh, come on, game. There's no need to be that merciless with the enemy tracking in this. Come on. There is absolutely no need for that. I just wanted to stop and get some health, man. I was trying to bash off that enemy's attack, but I guess I just wasn't in range. I don't know why it locked me onto the... Uh, whatever. 
this little pain in my ass. Come here! Now let me bat. No. I guess I just can't. Oh my god. I guess I just can't bash off of that projectile. Because, like, I can lock onto these guys, no problem. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. My god, what is this? He's got those frogs in Olympic gold medal and shot put. Dear lord. Okay, got some XP. Oh, yeah, we'd been up here before. There's a door over there. Let me just see really quick if I can actually open that. Man, spikes do a lot of damage. Oh, and I've actually never been up here either, so nice. Woohoo! Ability cell. Gain another ability point. I'm gonna save and use that. Okay. Um. I'm definitely working towards triple jump for sure. I want that. Sense, energy markers, life markers, spirit efficiency. None of this at this point I'm that worried about. Because most of the stuff that we're finding we're just finding without it being marked. Stomp radius would be cool. Rapid flame. Yeah, I mean, all this stuff would be nice. But, yeah. We're moving right along there, methinks. Getting triple jump would be so huge. Obviously, it's not a requirement or it wouldn't... Unless you... I shouldn't say that. It could be a requirement. It just depends on if the game makes you go all the way down every tree by the end of the game. Which, I'd be surprised if that was the case. Oh, we're so weak compared to enemies, man. How am I supposed... There's gotta be... You know, just, just kill me. It's not worth it. There's gotta be... Some sort of sideways bash. Like, not like bash our current ability, but like some sort of charge that we get as an ability that lets us break through those doors. That's the only thing I can imagine. Oh, God. Up. Oh. That it would allow us. Crap. I didn't want him to die there. Well, oh well. So, actually, honestly, this would be way easier if I just go back around this way. Way, way easier if I go this way. Get a bit, and away we go. Yeah, there's got to be some sort of ability that I'm missing, which obviously there are abilities I'm missing. There's still a whole area I haven't gone through that's going to allow me to break those going to the side. Oh, dear God. Okay. I tracked a birdie over here. Wait, no. Come back. I, I shot you the wrong way. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. 
No. Go back through the hole. Go back through the hole. Go. Ah, God damn it. That way. That way. That way. That way. <laughs> there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That way. Thank you. Woo! I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do that, but it's certainly the way, the way that I did it, and it seems to have worked for me, so <laughs> I'll take it. It seems fine. No, 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 no. Oh, it's spikes. No. Oh, it was all spikes. I couldn't tell those spikes. Oh, my God. All right. Another critique I have of the game. And again, I'm sorry. I know so many people love the game. I'm just... There are so many little pain points and frustrations that I'm experiencing as I'm playing this. And it helps me feel better to vocalize it. So, no offense meant to anyone who adores the game. I do like it. Just, oh, there are some things. Um, having visual inconsistency between obstacles and threats makes it so hard for me to keep track of just what in the hell I'm supposed to be doing at any given point and like what I'm supposed to be avoiding like I had no idea that that was spikes that I had to avoid it just looked like I don't know part of the terrain like I was so busy trying to pay attention to all the enemies that I didn't have time to process the fact that there was a new type of spike I guess I could have shot that up. Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, I definitely could have used that frog to shoot up there. Whoops. Don't you try to run from me. You're going to die and you're going to like it. Okay, what do we have in here? More bird shenanigans. Oh. Oh, wait, I can jump off these rocks. Nice. Okay, that's huge, actually. However, I've kind of shot myself in the foot by launching that. Accidentally, but still launching that owl into the spikes. Up. No, 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 no. Is this really random on where these fall? Jeez. Alright, map stone fragment. Very good. I like the shape of this area. It's a very... Almost unnatural curve there. Oh god, the rocks hurt. I didn't realize. Oh god, send me back. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to save. Whew. Really, game. You're lucky I saved right here, because that was cheap as hell. Come here. Shoot your shot. That was so cheap. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Whoa! Well, that's a big boy, that area there. Okay. Very well. Come on, shoot your shot. Set me free. I don't want to deal with you anymore. No. Uh, uh. Okay. There's another fragment there. How do I get to you? Uh. Interesting. And then I can break that. But to do that, I would need that frog, I think. So I don't think I'm chaining a shot. Yeah, no. There's no way I'm... Well, no, I can't. Yeah, I can't give it enough upward momentum for that. No way. Please stop. God. Uh. 
Oh, oh no, no. Uh, no, not more frogs. No, stop with the frogs, please. Really? Whew. And with that, I am out of energy. But it's progress. Oh, I need to, okay. Oh, healing. Hello. Ah! I was expecting another one to spawn there. I mean, it makes sense just given up. Ugh. Given that there was a breakable rock, but oh, the next, hmm. Shit, okay, I need to go back this way. Don't you, okay. I also definitely take issue with games that suddenly throw an obstacle in front of you to kill you without you having had the chance to, like, look at it at all in a game like this. Go, go, go. No, no, no. Stop. Cease. Cease! Cease! Oi. Like, again, I understand I need his shot to break through there, but, like, I just wanted the map fragment, man. Oh, but he's not back. Okay. Alright, well, time to wait for him to respawn. Or not the map fragment, the key fragment. What the hell? What are you doing here? I just want to get far enough away for that frog to respawn, man. That's all I want. Although, I guess I have... Yeah, no, I have all the key pieces for the door, actually. So let's just go. Get away. Suspicious video game generosity with this healing. Oh, hello. Ah, okay. So maybe that's that other XP orb as well. There must be another hidden door that I'm I just didn't see like that, you know? That has to be the case. Oh my god. I didn't realize there were spikes at the bottom there. Ah. No. Up. This is closed. Uh huh. Very interesting. I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. I'll take this one though, for sure. That's another level, baby! Or at least another skill point. Uh, charge dash allows Ori to charge dash to attack. Oh!
allows Ori to charge dash with left trigger to attack enemies. Okay. I mean, I'm holding left trigger. Nothing's happening. Is there something else that I need to have? Allows Ori to charge dash to attack enemies. I must just not have the dash that I need for this, right? Because that looks like a shine spark type of deal. Oh, water breath. Nice. So maybe I just have this now. Yeah, air dash. also use dash in the air. I don't have dash. Dash is not a thing that I have. So just, I guess now that I have these, I'll be able to, like, bash open those doors. Again, not bash. I shouldn't say bash because that's an actual ability that we have. To break open, there we go, those side doors that we have that we've been seeing and have not been able to access. Why do I have keys over here? What weird secret am I unlocking here? Through the door. Oh, my. Oh, I tried to pull out the feather and didn't, and then I died as a result. Cell. I like that. I like that. But why? Why this? I'm going to need it again. How is that going to work? I guess I don't technically... No, I don't need that one. I need this other one. Okay, got it. Oh, why is it an unsafe zone? Literally nothing can kill me there. Come on. If you're going to let me choose where to save, let me choose where to save, please. Is there a third one of these, or do I actually need to grab this other one? I mean, the fact that there's wind here tells me I need to grab this one, but I, uh, I don't, I don't fully understand how I'm supposed to do that without exploding. Yeah, exactly. There's got to be a third one. There we go. Yeah, because that one's clearly meant to go there. Ah. 
Ah. Okay, very clever. I like that. That's cool. So now this one. We can very careful SpongeBob our way over here. Cool. Nice. Like a little feather or scrap of cloth or something in the spikes there? Yeah. Concerning. It's very spiky through here. It's very spiky through here. This is distressingly spiky through here. Out. Really channeling Tom flying through the cacti in Outer Wilds on uh, Ashtwin energy right now. Whew. And everyone being super impressed by that. Ah, damn it. Well, don't be impressed anymore because I screwed it up. There we go. You're allowed to be impressed again. I've made progress. Uh huh. I should save up here, actually. That is what I should do. See, I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. It's just a different habit that I had to get into. Like I was saying, I'm not used to having to think about saving in a game like this. But now that I'm getting there, it's actually, like, clicking with me more. Now I just have other complaints. <laughs> stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. Oh, I didn't even actually realize what time it was. Holy smokes. Okay. Guys, I'm going to have to call this one here. When we come back, though, we're going to continue our progress through the not tree sorrow pass feels like a tree because we're climbing it but yeah through sorrow pass and we're going to get up here and get the element of fire i guess not exactly the air i would have expected for the element of fire though oh well, no because we're going to get it there and then go up to the volcano probably right so okay when we come back we'll do that for now thank you all so much for watching i do very much appreciate it if you know someone that you think would enjoy this series or any of my other content if you could shoot them a link that would just be swell but until the next time i hope you all have a good night Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.